Knowing your rights is not just important to you in preserving and protecting your rights, it's important to everyone. It helps the police in being more efficient and focusing on legitimate crimes and the most dangerous people and not wasting time with investigations and arrests that are not needed. A little bit historically about the document, the Bill of Rights itself. Uh, our 13 colonies adopted a constitution without a Bill of Rights. And 13 years later, it was under threat of collapse. It was going to be rejected. And the thing that saved it was the Bill of Rights. The Constitutional Congress met, went back in session and said, how do we make this better? And amazingly, they developed 10 amendments, the first 10 to the Constitution of the United States. And every one of those amendments was intended to protect individuals and to limit government in their action upon individuals. Now, what does it contain and what do you need to know? Primarily, what I'll focus on in this program are the fourth, fifth, and sixth amendment rights because those are the ones that come into play almost every day. Hopefully not every day for an individual citizen, but certainly every day in our country, police are interacting with citizens, and those are the rights that come into play. The Fourth Amendment right is that to be safe from unreasonable searches and seizures unless the state or a police officer has probable cause to believe that you have done something wrong. The Fifth Amendment is your right against self-incrimination. You don't have to say anything to a police officer. And if you choose not to say anything to a police officer, that cannot be used against you. The Sixth Amendment is that that says you have a right to a jury trial. You have a right to see the evidence that the state wants to use against you and to confront and question the witnesses that the state wants to introduce against you. Those are the rights that are fundamental to everybody who interacts with a police officer. If you know what your rights are, and you're responsible about protecting them and assertive about protecting them, then they will in turn protect you. We would all agree that an informed public is better than an ignorant public. And the entire public, the police, the courts, and you benefit from being informed. So when you know your rights, everyone benefits.